Let's go back to Roxburgh, where residents will be without water until at least Wednesday in the wake of the town's worst floods in 40 years. The central Otago township, of course, of 600 people was hit with 40 millimetres of rain in just three hours yesterday. 40 millimetres is a lot, but it was how hard and dry the ground was that compounded the volume of water. At least a dozen homes in the town's school were inundated with mud or water or both. Our Otago South reporter Tim Brown has spent the day in Roxborough. Of course, we had a report from Ian Telford before, but let's go to Tim now, who joins us live via live view. Hi, Tim. Boy, it looks dusty and dry behind you. What's happening? Good evening, John. Yeah, it is dry and dusty. Uh, as you can see, there is mud throughout Roxborough's main street. Um, big, big swath of State Highway 1 is completely inundated with mud. Wow. Uh, they're cleaning that, that up as we speak, but the local mayor here believes we're looking at somewhere around 2,000 truckloads to get the mess fully cleaned up. Holy moly. What is the weather there now? It's funny from the shot, that looks dry, but it is still wet and sticky mud, is it? It, it, it is drying out. It's very, very dusty, but it's so thick in some places that it is mud. It, it's, it's completely caked into areas. The local school here has had a, a digger operating all day. We've had as many, I think, as three diggers operating on the main street here, uh, cleaning out what is a thick layer of sticky, sticky, silty mud. Tim, can you look to your right? There's a truck going past you. Is that a water tanker? What's that? And is that water for locals to drink, is it? Or is that working the road? Uh, now, that, that, that does appear to be a water tanker. It's one of, of many that are, that are operating in the uh, town here. It is for the locals. They're going to be without water until at least Wednesday. Um, there seems to also be a shower operating somewhere. That we, we're not sure of the operation <laughs> of it. It seems like it will be a solar shower. But uh, residents are doing their best to live, live life normally, considering at the moment uh, their options for toilets are port and buckets. OK, so there is no sewerage working. There is no running water. Power, is that coming back on anywhere yet? Uh, power uh, appears to be returned to most of the township now. They have isolated pockets where power is not returned, but tonight they will be bringing in generators to make sure that, that everyone is with power overnight. T Tim, over your right shoulder in the distance, down by the rather wonderful church there, there looks like a, a family, a, a, an, a, an adult and three kids, just going for an exploratory walk. Had people left town? Were people evacuated? Or by and large, being redoubtable central Otago types, have they stayed? Um, all the residents of stay that we spoke to, uh, some were evacuated from their homes last night just as a precaution as, as all this water and mud came down. However, they've stayed with family and friends for the most part. Uh, for, for the kids, it's just been a laugh. It's a day off school, a chance to get out, play in the sunshine and enjoy what is uh, every kid's favourite delight, mud. <laughs> Tim Brown joining us live uh, from Roxborough. We are going to keep a situa an eye on the situation there. Tim, I, uh, we're just going to keep an eye on the forecast. Rain is forecast. As you could see, if you were watching or here, if you were listening, there, there isn't any rain. None is falling at the moment, uh, but it is forecast overnight, and obviously that wouldn't be good. The ground is caked with mud, and then it is very dry underneath it.